We begin this afternoon with the latest on what we've learned about the coronavirus. Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin, and here are three things we're tracking right now. Globally, there are now more than 885,000 people who have been infected with the virus. This global pandemic so serious that it's now canceled the Wimbledon tennis tournament since World War II. Stocks are also taking a dive right now, falling more than 3% at open on Wall Street. In the U.S., there are now more than 190,000 confirmed cases, according to Johns Hopkins University. Currently in our state, there are now more than 3,100 people who have been infected and 69 people have died. 608 people have been hospitalized. As the virus takes a toll on our state, there is a clearer picture of the financial impact. State Comptroller Kevin Limbo is saying that the state is currently on track to end the fiscal year with a deficit of about $170 million.